Winter is upon us in the Northern Hemisphere. And by upon us, I mean already here, especially by the time you're seeing this video. <clears throat> As of December 11th, snow is on the ground and dung beetles have infested our islands. Don't worry, they're not here to roll poop, just snowballs and be complete pains in the butts. Uh, no, no pun intended. Snowmen have been in the Animal Crossing series since the beginning. For almost 20 years, we've been running around our town searching for snowballs to roll around, stack up, and create the best looking snowmen our little round hands allow. New Horizons is no different. Snowmen, or snowboys as they are known in New Horizons, work a bit differently than they did in New Leaf. They're a little simpler, but still fun and required to craft the new seasonal furniture. There is a catch, however. To receive a reward for all your hard work, you must make a perfectly proportional snowboy. What's the best way to do that? First, let's go over the basics. Snowballs can be found anywhere on your island. They're created by the lovable dung beetles. When you find the snowballs, I suggest catching the bug. Once you make the snowboy, you won't be able to find dung beetles until the next day when new snowballs spawn. These buggers love to push the snowballs around. You cannot control them. They do what they want without any thought of you, but they do love to screw you over. At first, your character will kick the snowball about 13 times. Be careful where you kick it because it can break on items like trees and cliffs or fall into the water and melt. After those 13 kicks, the snowball will be big enough for your character to roll with their hands and thus becomes easier to control. Once you've grown the snowball to a size you like, it's time to go searching for the second one. But be careful, dung beetles like to steal their snowballs back and completely sabotage all the hard work you've put into rolling these things around your island. The snowballs usually spawn somewhat close to one another, unlike previous games where they always seem to be across the map, so they shouldn't be too hard to find. You do have to have open slots on your island for the snowballs to spawn, so if you spent hours filling in every available square on your island with furniture, maybe put some stuff away to make room. Snowballs only grow if they are pushed over snowy grass. Maneuvering them on non-snow paths like dirt, brick, stone, etc. will cause the snowball to decrease in size. This is helpful if you find that you've accidentally made one snowball too big. But what size do these snowballs need to be to create the perfect snowboy and receive rewards? There's a couple tips and tricks that can help you create a perfectly proportioned snowboy. The first way is the ear test. It's the easiest way to attempt eyeballing the size of your snowballs. You'll need to make the first snowball as big as possible, so keep rolling it until the snowball is no longer increasing in size. FYI, you can push the snowball around forever, but at a certain point it'll stop growing. Roll the second snowball until the very top is at the same height as your ear. Pushing the right stick up will give you the best view to measure the snowball to your character. The smaller snowball will be about 80% of the size of the larger one. The snowballs do not have to be as large as possible to make a perfect snowboy. As long as the two are the perfect ratio to each other, the snowboy will be perfect. I'm excited to make some tiny snowboys. They're gonna be so cute. The next one is my favorite, and I am forever grateful to Reddit user Ninko7 for discovering the trick and Animal Crossing World for finding this completely underrated Reddit post. Ninko created a practically foolproof way to make the perfect snowboy. Take out your your island designer app and make a line of terraformed paths 10 squares long and a couple squares wide just to help make things easier for yourself. Go find both snowballs and make them as big as they can possibly be. Put one super large snowball on one side and the other super large snowball on the other side. If done correctly, the snowball you push will reduce in size the perfect amount and will produce the perfect proportions for a snowboy every time. Why put this much effort into making these cute snowboys? Because the rewards are totally worth it. If made correctly, the snowboys will give you a large snowflake and a seasonal recipe the first day you make them. Every day after that, the melting perfect snowboys will give you a large snowflake until fully melted four days later. The very first snowboy you make for the season will always give you one crafting recipe and one large snowflake, no matter how off kilter it is. The large snowflakes are a required crafting material for the Frozen series. Collect as many as you can before winter ends so you don't mess out on any of the seasonal recipes. Snowboys take up a square on your island, melted or not, so make sure you're building them in an area that isn't in the way of your usual path. Be aware that snowballs do not spawn when you have a friend over. The dung beetles have social anxiety and don't want to talk to other people, so they won't make any snowballs for you to play with. You can only create one snowboy a day, which means only two snowballs will spawn each day. 
If you happen to break one, just enter and exit a building and it should respawn on its own. You'll get Nook Miles for the first, 10th, and 20th Snowboy. Get building so you don't have to wait an entire year to complete it. Once you have finished collecting all the seasonal crafting recipes from the Snowboys, they'll start to give you the same furniture, but already crafted. So if you want to stock up or give your friends some furniture, you don't have to waste your own large snowflakes. If you messed up, like you didn't create a perfect Snowboy, and want to fix it, just close out of the game before it autosaves after you finish building your ungrateful snowboy and load back in. You have to search for snowballs again, but it gives you another chance to get it right. Ugh, I am so excited snowboys are back. They really add to the winter experience of Animal Crossing and always have since the start of the series. What are you most looking forward to this winter? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye!